Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. No comedian has yet won America's Got Talent in the 18 previous seasons it's been on the air, but in season 19, Zimbabwean funny man Learn More Janessi, who captured Terry Crews' golden buzzer, is hoping to break the drought. Truth be told, he's the only stand-up among this season's nine golden buzzers, so that could be the good news in that there isn't a lot of competition. Plus, the fact that he is truly talented won't hurt. Following his audition, Simon Cowell told him, I actually think you're one of the funniest people we've had over the years. And Howie Mandel said, We are so glad you're here. Stand-up comedy is so hard, as it is but to come from another country where English isn't even your first language. Not only did you communicate with everybody, but tickled everybody, made everybody laugh. You are truly amazing. With compliments like that, you would have thought that Howie would have hit the golden buzzer for Learn More, but it was actually Terry who did so. Honestly speaking, Learn More tells Parade in this exclusive interview, I thought maybe I was going to get a golden buzzer from Howie because he always pushes for comedians. But then it ended up being Terry, which was a bonus to me, honestly. So I was excited about that. The reason it was a bonus is that Learn More has been a fan of Terry's ever since. As a young boy growing up in Chimanamani, Zimbabwe, he watched him in the movie White Chicks, especially his breakdance moves. Winning Terry's buzzer gave Learmore the opportunity to tell the AGT host how he had inspired him as an artist to try to write material that will translate to everybody's world. I used to mimic him in all the breakdancing, especially expressions, and all of that, Learmore says. So, when I met him, to me it was so surreal. I was like, oh, here's the guy that I used to watch when I was a kid. It was such an amazing moment just getting to talk to him a little bit. It was like I knew him from way back, because there's so much that we had in common. I was just like, oh wow. For his audition, Learn More riffed on the comparison between life in his small village in Zimbabwe to life in America. For his performance tonight, he's going to do more of that, but also add more about adjusting to life in the U.S. It's going to be a surprise. Honestly, he says. I'll be talking about my experience more in America, and also, where I come from because that's a part of who I am. Where I come from is part of my identity. So, I'm always looking at everything from the point of view of somebody that grew up in Chimanamani village. It's always in there. And if he should win the $1 million, learn more plans to use a goodly portion of it to improve the state of the arts in his community. I want to bring back the arts, especially I want to start a nonprofit that helps young kids discover their talent. Things that I wished I had had when I was growing up, he says. I'd also want to get into filmmaking. I want people in my village to start making films, writing, directing, all of that, so that I can empower the people in my village to finally tell our own stories. So that's the idea. And as caring and unselfish as that is, Learn More is still human, so he will be spending some of the money buying things for himself. What are you talking about? I want to buy a lot for myself. I'm going to buy nice outfits. I'm going to spoil myself, but also give back, he adds. Related. Find out who went home on America's Got Talent Night 2 and who made the semifinals. Also during our Zoom chat, Learn More talked about how his grandfather influenced him to get into comedy in the first place how he came to America and then to AGT, and his dream of playing arenas and making comedy specials. I fell in love with the idea of giving people an opportunity to laugh. I remember this specific day where I told myself I want to become a comedian. It was when my grandfather was worried about where he was going to get money to pay for my school fees and buy food. I remember him talking to my grandmother, getting worried and stressed. And the moment he turned on his TV, he started laughing. So to me as a kid, I was like, why, how are you laughing, and you are stressed? How is that possible? I fell in love with that. 
I've always wanted to make people feel the same way that I saw my grandfather feeling, so that's how I fell in love with comedy. And then I was one of the first-generation comedians. But then you decided to bring your act to America. How did that happen? I've always wanted to come to America. I feel like everything I've been doing back home in Zimbabwe, in Africa, was to prepare me to come here to America and be able to use my skills that I've learned back home in the American industry.